I am able to speak again. I traveled to the conference in Tiraspol and I sang on the train. This was right after the healing. I cried and told the friends that I had been unable to speak for a long time and now I can even sing. I am a healthy person again. My hands can work and my legs can move. It is all good. In 1986, I had a stroke. After this, I developed problems with my speech. My right arm and right leg were paralyzed, and I had no feeling in the right side of my body. I couldn't speak properly. I spoke, but no one could understand me. I lay in the neurology ward of the local hospital, but the doctors were unable to help me. My wife then brought me to the neurology department of the Scientific Research Institute in Moscow. There I had more strokes until my carotid artery was operated on. After the operation, I could understand the people around me again. This had not been possible after the stroke. A cerebral infarction was diagnosed. This explained why I had not been able to understand anything. My tongue refused to move anymore, so I totally lost my ability to speak. In the hospital, a malignant tumor was discovered in my right lung. I had lung cancer. It was at this time that the Soviet Union collapsed. Kazakhstan did not provide funding to the institute anymore, and I was sent home. My lung was operated upon in Kochetau. I completed three rounds of radiotherapy and three rounds of chemotherapy, but nothing helped. The lung cancer was operated on, but the surgical wound did not heal and remained open for five years. Then the most terrible pain began, and I was only able to alleviate it with morphine. But over time, it did not help anymore either. It was awful. I am Nikolai Ivanovich Goncha's neighbor and an acquaintance of his wife. I was often at their house and could see how he suffered from the pain, how he often lost consciousness and had cramps. We then lay him down on the sofa. His wife had to go to work and asked me to look after her sick husband. I visited him, spoke with him, but he did not answer. He couldn't understand me. I was also there when he returned from Moscow. His wife said to me, he is very sick, but do not tell him that. He has to go to an oncologist for surgery. I said to her, don't get worked up. Everything will be fine. I could see with my own eyes how he suffered. Also when the emergency doctor came and said, he is dying and has no more than three days to live. I calmed his wife down and offered to help her with the funeral. The doctor had given me an injection of morphine, 
but it didn't help. My wife was taken into the next room and told that there is no more hope left. I felt in my heart that things were not going well, and I fell on the ground and started to pray. At that time, I did not know any prayers. I simply asked for forgiveness, mercy and help. God heard me and he sent me Clara Alexandrovna. Two days later we received the newspaper with the article in it. One month later I was introduced to the teaching of Bruno Groening and regularly attended community hours. I felt a tingling in my fingers and an itching and burning sensation in my hands. After a month I began to get severe pain throughout my whole body. After my third visit to the community hour, the pains became so strong that I lost consciousness. When I woke up, I could feel waves going from my feet to my head, one after the other. It seemed as if all my hair was standing on end. Then the pain lessened. It did not fully disappear, but I somehow felt as if it were very far away. I was so well, and I was full of joy, that I had to cry. Day by day I improved. After three months, the wound, which had been open for five years, healed completely. All that has remained to the present day is a scar. This is what the wound looked like, but it is totally healed now. Six months after the introduction, I felt pain in my paralyzed leg. I was very happy as this gave me hope that I would be able to walk again. And today I can walk. I am able to do everything again. I work in the garden, I dig the soil, I can do everything. Наблюдался, я проверила его историю болезни, подняла его амбулаторные карты. Это был первый больной, которого я, собственно говоря, обследовала. I examined Gonchan Nikolai Ivanovich. I have the hospital reports and the medical records. He was the first patient whose healing I examined and documented. He had lung cancer. A lobe of his lung was removed, and after that the wound would not heal. He had arteriosclerosis of the right and left arteries, narrowing and stenosis of the internal carotid artery and the vertebral artery. The right side of his body was paralyzed and he had problems speaking. He joined the circle of friends around October 1997. He started to have Regelungen while he was taking in the healing power, and the wound gradually began to heal. After one and a half months, it had completely healed. He put on weight, his speech returned completely, and the paralysis disappeared. He now has neither paralysis nor speech disorders, is able to move and speak freely and without constraints. The lungs do not cause him any more problems. I examined him and took x-rays. One can only see the scars on the lungs from the operation, otherwise nothing else. The blood work, ECG, everything is in the normal range. Neurological examinations showed none of the limitations in movement, which he used to have. He is able to move and speak normally. He has no more complaints. 
I am able to speak again. I traveled to the conference in Tiraspol and I sang on the train. This was right after the healing. I cried and told the friends that I had been unable to speak for a long time and now I can even sing. I am a healthy person again. My hands can work and my legs can move. It is all good. I thank Bruno Groening for his teaching and God for the healing. I am so happy and grateful.